Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to episode 6 of my Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. On the last episode we arrived here at Azalea Town and we got to see what's going on here, some fishy business as you can tell. And in this episode we shall be taking care of that business and to see how we can get through the second gym because it's blocked by a rocket representative or Team Rocket Grunt I would say. So anyway, moving on up here, we have this uh, house, and it's on the mailbox it says Kurt's house. And on the side there's a white apricorn, and a lot of you people, I don't know if you understand, but I'm pronouncing these wrong on purpose, because it only says WHT, and I try to pronounce the abbreviated form, because I'm an idiot. But anyway, here we see a, a very old guy, and his name is Kurt, and if you have played any of the old Ghosts of the Crystals, you know, in Ghost of the Crystal, he has a sprite that's like baldy, and I thought he was like mid middle aged, you know, 40s or like late 30s. But here you can clearly see he's old. I've never seen Cut in the anime, or maybe I don't remember or something. But once you talk to him, he says, "Oh, let's go do a Team Rocket," and he just comes in, and all of a sudden, the two of them disappear. And we go get down through this stuff, and we go down to Slowpoke Well to see a Slowpoke. Haha, <laughs> herp derp. Hey there. And why? Well, so he shouted and he tumbled down. So he hurt his back, so he can't move. Okay, that's cool. So first of all, let's go over the Pokemon that's available here at Slowpoke Well, because there are new Pokemon here. There's one new Pokemon here actually, and that Pokemon is Slowpoke. Slowpoke is a water type Pokemon evolving into Slow King. If you trade it with King's Rock, or it wasn't the Slow Bro at level 37. If you want to make it into Slow King, keep in mind it's specially defensive and specially offensive, but very slow. If you want to put it into Slow Bro, it's very physically defensive and specially offensive. So the difference between the two is that Slow King is specially defensive, while Slow Bro is physically defensive. Uh, you can use them; they're very good. Um, I mean, they're not very good, they're good, let me put it that way. There are better Pokemon that are in terms of water and psychics, um, but to get a good combo of water and psychic, I think Slow King and Slow Bro are the only ones. Uh, so if you want to pick one up, uh, might as well just be careful that it's pretty slow. So, whatever fits your fancy. That's it for the new Pokemon here. Here you see there's plenty of... Team Rocket Grunts to level up my Fluffy. I'm gonna get my third Pokemon soon, don't worry. You you guys uh, don't need to worry. I don't want I, I'm not gonna finish the game with just Flaffy and Quilava. Jesus. <sighs> Alright, so here we have level 9 Redditor, and we're going to, of course, Thundershock it, and hopefully that gives us a one-hit KO. It would be a little annoying if that doesn't. Oh, it's a critical hit, so that always helps. And level 18, that's right. Oh god, Jesus, you're so overleveled. And he's gonna send in another red set because I, I really never. I would never catch the same Pokemon twice. You know? I feel, I feel like that wouldn't help me with anything. Jeez. Moving on to other grunts. Let's see, hopefully we don't encounter any wild Pokemon. So I'm gonna- Oh, Jesus! Finally, jeez! Right when I said, nope, wild encounters. Alright, who's this girl? Stop taking Slowpoke Tails, what? I don't- You know, I didn't even- Like, I didn't even say anything. Jeez. And her name is Rocket Grunt as well. It's, um, uh, you know, were you all born from the same ch mother or something? Like, she just, like, randomly gave birth, like, a hundred- Team Rocket Grunts and just decided to name like all you guys the same name so that you guys would all pay attention to her or something. Why are we discussing this? We don't need to be discussing this. This is like such a waste of time. And here we have Ekans, something new and refreshing, even though I equally hate it. And remember, I said you can catch your Ekans in Soul Silver on Rush 32, so don't forget that. If you ever wanted to use a Ekans, I've only used an Ekans on my team once. And you know, I I had to I had such a difficult time using an Ekans because I never saw any time that I would ever use it. <laughs> Found a super potion, that's right! Hell yeah! Ooh! Who's this guy? 
I don't even know what he said. I didn't read. And we have a Rattata. Oh, Jesus, man. This is like the legendary Pokemon of all times. And he uses a quick attack. Please get static. Because... Ah, oh, never mind. Static seems to work very well for me. And hopefully... Every time someone touches me, or not me, but Flaffy, uh, it gets static or something. I don't know. No. You know, one, one thing I didn't like, well, one thing that I didn't not like, sorry, didn't understand is like, if you're paralyzed, how are you moving? Are you only like partially paralyzed? Not that I would like being completely paralyzed every turn, but I'm saying it would make more sense if, if you were. But sometimes not making sense is a good thing, otherwise you won't enjoy the game. Oh my god, almost level 19. I just want to like battle a bunch of wild Pokemon, but here we have blue-headed Proton. Hey, Protons, where's your neutrons? Oh, never mind. The, the, yeah, I, I, you know, I feel really bad because every time I play that game, I play this game. Every time I meet Proton, it's like, hey, where's their neutrons? And later you'll meet Neutron. Stuff I think I think I'm I'm not sure I, I think I got the character name wrong. Hey, you know what? Even if I'm wrong, that's okay. I'm beating the game, and I'm doing it as efficiently as I know how. Even though there are more efficient ways of doing it other than overtraining your Pokemon to level 20 before the second gym leader. I mean, almost level 20. I'm wrong. Sorry. And he's not hard to beat. You know, at first I was when I first saw the sprite, I'm like, wait, is Proton a guy or a girl? And I still I still don't know. So I'm still gonna go with like, yeah him just because executive proton you know he calls us a kid but he doesn't look that old himself to be called an executive oh so even after they disbanded three years ago they continued their underground op operations I suppose and there's Kurt and all of a sudden he can move that's so stupid oh yeah right when we f finish everything your back gets better than that isn't that funny Alright, so we have dealt with the Team Rocket for now, and we can actually access the second gym leader, so why don't we just do that? Um, I'm going to use... I'm going to use a pink apricorn for him to make a Pokeball out of. Give pink apricorns? Yes. Okay, so it'll make 24 hours for you to make a Pokemon or for Kurt to make a Pokeball and every time you call him he'll tell you he'll let you know if it's done or not so for example right now it's 10.51 in the morning you'll have to come in exactly in 10.51 of the next day let me go heal up my Pokemon real fast so uh, since this episode is kind of short let's just deal with the gym right now oh Queen Lama's level 16 actually let's see what I can do here what is this house Charcoal Clan. Oh, oh yeah, this guy. This guy. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Slowpoke have returned, but my parts haven't come back. My appreciate. I've got to look for them. To the Atlas Forest. It's been ages now. Okay, so later on, uh, we'll deal with that problem. But for now, let's go into the gym. All right. So here we are at the second gym leader, and this is where we find out that Buxy is a guy. Yes, it says Buxy's young, but he's a master buck type Pokemon, yep. And actually, as a child, I, I, I didn't think he was a girl, but at the same time, I didn't know if it was a guy. So I was always confused. I was never like, oh, he's a girl. So here we have this kind of mysterious looking thingy that you go through in order to get to the gym leader. I don't really know what it's called, but we have a bunch of bug type Pokemon in this gym because, you know, obviously you don't see water types in a bug type gym, right? And we can just ember through this. Like, I'm going to use so much move variety in this match, man. It's it's, it's going to be like ember, and then ember, and then ember, and then ember. Yeah, that, that's going to be my move pool. You know, the thing is, like, I, you know, as, as somebody working in the gym, I, w I would always have like some kind of idea to how to deal with Quilavas and Charmanders and stuff like that. But I'm guessing this is the second gym leader. They don't really have much intelligence to do so. So here we go. I think. Oh, Jesus. I think this is the wrong one, isn't it? Yep, yeah, this is the wrong one. I'm so good at this puzzle. I never remember this. No matter how many times I've finished Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I never remember this part of the game. Like, Jesus. 
And neither do I remember the eighth gym puzzle either. It's like it's not a puzzle, but you know what I mean. Anyway, we have another broadcaster here. Ooh, a Weedle, that's cool. So I've never seen that Pokemon before. And for his final Pokemon, he has a Beedrill. So he has a Weedle, a Kakuna, and a Beedrill. Which is kind of cool, because I, I always thought Beedles look cool. I've never used it, but it looks cool. It's the looks that counts, right? No? Okay, never mind. Hopefully you can get me up to level 18, please. Give me a good a chunk. Yes. Level 18, level 18. Yes, level 18. And, I, I, you know, you know what, I might as well just beat the game with these two Pokemons, and, yeah. Oh, Jesus, my game. And I had that egg with me. So, we're gonna do this, and what that does, what does that do? Let's see what, what happens without it. I go this way, onto this way, onto this way. And a double battle, no! Spinarak and Ladybug. Challenging. Well, that's taken care of. Why are you feeling a bit dizzy? Your Pokemon are the ones that battled. It makes no sense. Oh no, what did I do? But I'm still gonna see how that works out. Am I gonna go straight? Yes! Okay, here we are at Buxy's. What does this do? Hold on. Oh, no, no! Oh, oh Jesus. Okay, well, let's do this, and now let's go. Oh my god, I suck. Why did I ever decide not to do that? I'm, I, I so didn't want to battle this guy. <sighs> Thank god he only had a Paris and not like six metapods to deal with. Oh, that would, oh my god, that would be really bad, right? That would like ruin anyone's day, you know that? Arr! Yeah, screw off! Okay, well, let's... Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay, we are here. Alright. Let's see. This is Buxy. Purple hair. He's under a big tree, standing on a bunch of dry leaves. Let's take care of him. So you're saying you've never lost Uncle the Buck type Pokemon. So you're saying you have never let anyone go past you. So basically there's no Johto Pokemon leaders in this game, I suppose. Because he's never let anyone pass him. Alright, here we have Buxy, leader, gym leader, obviously. He has three Pokemon. He starts off with a Scyther level 17 with the moves U-Turn, Focus Energy, Leer, and Quick Attack. He loves to use U-Turn, so he hits and he goes back to the team and switches out another Pokemon. His second Pokemon is a Metapod level 15 and Kakuna level 15, so obviously he has a very worrying team. Scyther, though, can be a big issue. He does prefer to um, U-Turn. And right when I say it, he has to prove me wrong. But I think he's just leering up so that he can hit me up with some U-turns. But he uses Quick Attack. Why are you proving me wrong? Okay. GTFO. Okay, and he has Citrus Berry because he's the strongest Pokemon off his team. So Scyther's going to go down because obviously he's not going to U-turn. Which is a good thing for me because less crap to deal with. And Quilava is level 19 as well because Scyther gives you a whole chunk of experience. Now he's going to send out his Metapod, who's level 15, like I said, and knows the move, Tackle. So obviously you're going to have to worry about this guy knocking your whole team out, right? And that deals with Metapod. This Pokemon battle is easier than the first gym battle if you can just deal with Scyther. Even though Scyther can be a big problem if you're like using Chikorita, or even Totodile. Or even Q Q um The only thing like that's making my life easier is Quilava right now because of his Ember. Uh, Kakuna is also level 15 with the moves Poison Sting. So, he's not that difficult either. And that does it for Buxy in total. So, yeah, for someone who doesn't let anything pass his bug type Pokemon, um, I, I didn't even have to switch out my Pokemon. As a matter of fact, my Pokemon's health level didn't even go below green. He gives you the second gym badge, and through that, you can level up your traded Pokemon up to level 30. Gives you level to TM89. Uh, let's your Pokemon attack, then switch to the next Pokemon in your party. Isn't that great? Well, it kind of is great if you know how to use it very well. Uh, so, it is a good move, does pretty good damage. Sometimes people don't like the fact that it switches your Pokemon out. Um, I can live with that as long as, you know, I can use it properly and kind of get me through the game. And we're done with the second gym as well. So, so far we have two out of eight, so six more to go. Alright. 
Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. In the next episode, oh no! Okay, in this episode, <sighs> this guy. All right, so I suppose we're finding Bambi because I was saving that for the second episode. I mean, seventh episode, but he got too close to me. So he has three Pokemon: Ghastly and Magnemite, and his starter, I believe. I could be wrong. I do not have. I do not know what moves these three Pokemon have because I was planning to do this on the second episode so all my notes are not written down yet but I kinda have the three Pokemon's memory and he Queen Lava learns Flame Wheel get rid of Smoke Screen okay so Flame Wheel is a very pretty powerful move it's a physical hitter so if your Pokemon's not a physical hitter then that's gonna be bad but Queen Lava is pretty good physically and specially so I'm gonna teach the Flame Wheel next up his Pokemon is his starter which at this point could be Queen Lava or uh, Bayleaf or Croconaw Right now it's Croconaw because he uses a total out. And I think Flaffy can make very quick work of it because Croconaw over here is only level 18. And he makes a scary face. You know, scary face would make you faster. I, I, I don't know. I think a lot of people have already said that, so I'm not going to say it. Maybe I have said it in a previous episode or something. I don't know. But it should make you faster. Just saying. Are you serious? You live by a slither? I'm just probably okay, thank God he doesn't use a potion or some kind of crappy thing. You know, why are you just scary facing me? Are you like worried or something? And his third Pokemon. Hopefully my predictions do come right. Oh, Flappy's level 20 as well. Equally over leveled. And he learns Cotton Spore. And Cotton Spore only reduces the speed stat, I think. So if, yeah, it's not really all that useful. And it's not very accurate as well, giving only 85% accuracy. Oh, oops. No! I want to give up on that move. Keep all move. And give up on Cotton Spore. Okay, good. And then he has a Zubat. Sorry, not Magnemite. I don't know what maybe. I think later on he gets he gets Magnemite. I'm sorry about that. So we're gonna switch our Pokemon up to Quilava again. Alright, so here we have Zubat. And we are gonna Ember this thing. Because we are badasses. Oh, we should have Flame Wheeled. Because I have no Flame Wheel now. So, Flame Wheel for the win! You know, previously I used to spam Ember, now I'm just gonna spam Flame Wheel. Because I, I love variety. Alright, that is it for Bambi. A useless Pokemon. Okay, whatever, you've never won once, so, I don't know. Sometimes a bad carpenter blames his tools, you know what I mean? But anyway, that's it for this episode. In the next episode, I shall be getting a new Pokemon! Yay! Even though the new Pokemon I'm gonna get is gonna be, like, seriously underleveled. And by underleveled, I mean, like, under level 5. But this is the only time you can get it. So, why not, right? I think you guys know who I'm talking about. But we'll find that out in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching so much. Um, thank you very much for watching. I kind of mixed that up there. Great outro. Best outros ever to exist on Planet Earth. Anyway, see you guys later.